Hey, welcome back, guys. It's glad to have you. As always, you know, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. We really appreciate your participation and joining the channel. I'm loving the comments. And the comments this week have been extraordinary. And I want to cover that as the first order of business. So we're going to have something called a subscriber of the day. And subscriber of the day is just going to be the person who really jumps out there in the comments and knocks it out the box. So we're talking about a subscriber, Lions and Truth. Uh, we're talking about Roger. Uh, there's, there's quite a few of you this week that jumped in and really, you know, blew it away in the comments section, challenging me mentally to think about things, you know, reminding me of things that I may have forgot, missed. And so I just want to throw that out to the two of them. And a third one I want to throw it out to is going to be um, anyone can cook as a subscriber. Anyone can cook. Uh, uh, whoever you are, thank you so much for your comment. Uh, they noticed that since I started the channel, I dropped uh, a significant amount of weight because I've been trying to take a little bit better care of myself, working out a little bit better, eating a little bit better. So thank you to that person for noticing my weight loss. Now, we got to talk about the Colorado Buffaloes and we got to talk about their defense. We got to talk about their defensive coordinator, the coaching staff. We got to talk about their depth chart and the player personnel. Uh, you know, I wanted to stand back and take the 30,000 square or 30,000 mile view today. Now, I don't know about you, but I know for a fact with myself. I'm watching these games, and I'm jumping up and down. I am screaming and hollering at the TV. Look, I don't pull my hair out with these games because I want every call. I want every play to go right. You know, I want them to shut them down on defense on every play. You know, I want to score 60 points, and then I want to shut the other team down to zero. I'm like, I said, I'm going to have a stroke here if I don't calm down a little bit and if I don't get a perspective. Now, that's just me. I'm not sure if any of you are going to that extreme or not. But so what I want to talk about is, you know, Arizona State as well going into this game. Now, Arizona State is what? One and four. They're 0 and 2 in the Pac-12. They're 1 and 3 at home. They're 0 and 1 on the road. Um... They scoring about 17 and a half points a game, but they're giving up 28 and a half points a game. So this is a team that's a perfect recipe for Colorado this weekend to regroup, to regather, to put up uh, average points. They will give up more than average points. And so this will give you an opportunity on defense to do certain things that we talked about here now. So listen, I, my 30,000 foot, you know, view of this is I have to remember that this five games that we have played into the first season. So, you know, I'm so caught up in, you know, like, you know, this is Georgia, Alabama, Clemson, you know, wherever, you know, and, you know, but it's not. And I got to keep reminding myself of, you know, to, to lower it a little bit, to, to keep a little more even kill and not to demand so much. So even though my expectations, along with the coach and along with the staff, is always here. The expectation is to be perfect, is to win, and is to win big, you know, dominant. But we have to understand five games into the first season. Coach Prime didn't even have a full recruiting cycle. He took the job after the recruiting cycle was virtually done. So he didn't have a real recruiting cycle, which he will have coming up now, which is what he's going through. Then the schemes on offense and defense. Okay, on defense, the scheme is very simple. The coaches are from Alabama, Florida State, these kinds of places. And they have hat-on-hat hat policy. That's just what it is when you have schools like that because you have the top quality athlete, player, personnel on the field, on the bench. You have it in uh, special teams ready to help and replace any of them that just falter. Then Colorado doesn't have that. And we're seeing that now with some injuries. You know, an ankle twist here, a knee here, a shoulder there, an elbow, a kidney, that type of thing. And 
the player that's replacing is not of the same athleticism, of the same skill, will, ability kind of thing. And it's causing, you know, the coaches to have to make adjustments to the scheme to be plain, to be bland, to try to play it neutral so that everyone can be in unison instead of having four or five players on defense that you know are outstanding and that they're running the scheme the way you want it run. And then you have four or five whatever type players that can't keep up. And that what is causing some of these explosive plays that are happening to us. And I have to remember that. And I have to check myself when I'm getting all hot and heated at Charles Kelly or or Hart, the, the linebackers coach, or Sal, you know, anybody who is coaching on the defense is why this is not happening, why that's not happening. Then on top of that, you got to remember this. What's going to take place and what's going to happen is, is they're going to, they're going to have another round of depth charts coming into play in the next couple of weeks. And the depth charts literally have to change because we spoke on that. And what we talked about was very simple. At this point, because you have a season that you can salvage. This is the first season and you can salvage this season and make it, I mean, an outstanding one with seven wins. They're going to get seven wins. We talked about that. But the depth chart has to be adjusted and modified. It's no slight on any player on defense. It's no slight on the coaches, their ability, anything like that. The coaches want to coach hat on hat, man to man, and go out and beat your opponent. They're going to have to alter that slightly so that everyone can, 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 can be more unified and, and work a little bit better on defense. Coach Prime keeps alluding to that. You know, we just have one or two players here and there that gets a lapse of judgment on a particular play, and then boom, that's the explosive play that has been hurting them. So they're going to have to modify the uh, of the defense and make it a little more simpler, more structured, even though teams will probably be able to attack you a little bit easier with that. But at least the defense will be on the same page and shut it down with no explosive plays. I'd rather the other team's offenses score points on us 10, 12 play drive versus 3 4 with the 50, 60 yard explosive play, boom, touchdown. Uh, that kills you. So now, the depth chart. The depth chart, really, we already been discussing that in the comment section. You just got to go for it. You have to go to the bench and you have to, to get these players. Uh, Travis J., um, Marquez Robinson. Uh, there's a super talented players on the bench. How about Marquez, um, not Marquez Kenny, I already said him. How about the linebacker, uh, Kennedy from Alabama? You know, there are players on that bench that are faster, bigger, stronger. They're not playing. And regardless if, you know, they're on the red sheet or not for attendance and lateness and, you know, classes and, you know, maybe not getting good enough test scores and whatnot, these players... They have to be moved up onto the depth chart because you have possibly three straight winnable games here. You know, uh, Arizona Street State definitely is a winnable game. Uh, Stanford is a absolute must win. And then UCLA is not playing the best ball, period. They're just not. It just doesn't seem to be clicking for them. You know, and so that's three straight winnable games, and that would make your record six and two. You're bowl eligible at that point. And now at six and two, you still got what, four games left? You can definitely steal one or two of these games, although they're going to be against some top 25 opponents in there. And, you know, it's going to be a, a real challenge on the road at some of these places. But, hey, if you could steal one or two of those games, you know, you definitely in a bowl game, but you in a nice bowl game, which then helps the recruiting even more. And then the defensive coordinators, the linebackers coaches, the linemen coaches, they're going to have even more talent to work with. And, and then we will sit back and next season, then you can start pulling your hair out, screaming at the television, jumping up and down, because you would then really expect 
everyone to have known the defensive system. Be in it is not a coaching thing anymore. It's a practice and it is a preparation thing at that point. So, you know, and you've already set the standard of super high expectations. Nothing is good enough. You have to win every play, every down. You know, you got to stop everything on defense. So we, we would have built all of that into the system. And now your fans know what to expect. Your, 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 the crowd knows what to expect, you know, the administration, the coaches, the players, you know, the training staff, everyone knows what to expect. Everyone is not trying to find housing, you know, learn their way around, you know, whatever it is going on, well, all those kind of distractions will go away. And next year, we're going to be looking for nine, 10 wins, you know, and, and or, or more and looking at making the college playoff. But I just wanted to get that out there. And, and then we're going to come back in a couple minutes and we're going to talk about the offense as well. But, uh, like I said, you know, if you haven't hit the like, subscribe, and share button, please go ahead and hit that. I mean, about 80% of you watch regularly or you watch daily and you don't subscribe. We would really appreciate it if you just hit the subscribe button now, join us, and then hit the notification button because we're bringing you everything all the time. We just dropped the Heisman watch, and so we got that updated out there right now. Uh, of course, we got everything going on with Colorado. We're doing the, uh, the the college football rankings, top 10. We just dropped that the other day, so that's out there. Watch for that video. Watch for the Heisman video. We now instituted... Um, subscriber of the day so we're going to be shouting you out personally uh, i'm going to start getting your exact handle and i'm going to start putting your handle on screen so that when i'm talking about you and your comment everybody know who it is and what you're saying and to uh, you know give you some props for really schooling me on some things and then helping me on some things so we got a mixture of everybody i mean the the the, the audience is crazy we got a big crowd from 65 all the way down to the 18 to 24 crowd we got plenty of people from london canada it's like crazy oh we even got india i got a, about a one percent viewership in india you know canada england uh you're all over the place we're loving all of you guys we're gonna be talking about some nfl uh europe because the London games are coming up soon. There's going to be games in Germany. We're going to talk about that. That's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs going to be over there. It's going to be a lot going on we're going to be talking about. And we want you to stay updated. And as always, thank you for being here with me. You just made my day. And we're going to see you again tomorrow. Have a great one.